Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, I had done the grind. It took about 30 minutes to get to level 5, which is uh, unexpected in this area. Uh, might actually be a little bit too strong for this area, especially now that I've got some upgraded equipment. But that said, we did get some spells, which is fantastic. For Darius, we did get the heal spell which is going to be nice for a little bit of a backup. And then for Varai, he actually got... Nope, not Varai. For Zida, she got the upper spell, which increases the defense of, I think, a character? And then Ice Bolt, which is a strong Ice Blade attack. Actually stronger than Blaze, even though it does cost uh, 3 MP. We'll get into that when we get into that. But for now... I really want to proceed with the game. We actually have a little bit of it. Hmm. Never noticed that place there. We actually have a little bit of thing here. Some exploring we can do, which I th actually can't. We? we might be able to. Let's just use Blaze for now. Did I seriously close that PDF file? Balls. The Dragon Quest 3 Prima Guide that I have been using uh, is for the Game Boy Color version, but its maps are still pretty accurate. Thanks for arriving for level 6. Uh, are still pretty good for the Game Boy. Game Boy, the SNES version, which I am playing, so. Gib. See, 32 gold. Now, it's gonna kinda hurt when I find equipment that I've already picked up or sold or bought, because it's equipment that I've already, you know, sold or bought. Ding, ding. Oh, right, I want to visit the tower first. down here? Stuff. I don't remember what stuff. Oh, this leads... Okay. I know where this stuff is. Um... I think we actually want to go to the promontory cave here first. Good hit. Yeah. Really good hit. Level 6 for Zita. Pretty good luck, though. This apparently led to the Promontory Cave first. Ah, yes, I know where we are. Ish. Traveler's clothes. We can sell those, honestly. There's some loot up here. 56 gold. I haven't gotten anything explicitly good for weapons for the party yet. Uh, for Rai, I gave a sword. That's pretty much it. Ooh. Yes, look at that. Everyone's dropping like flies. Yes. Even Varai is even, even, uh, even able to provide a killing blow or two. I'm half wondering whether or not my statement about keeping the stronger character uh, HP and defense-wise in the front is true. Maybe? I'm not sure. I mean, it seems to be working. Varai has taken... The least amount of damage, I think. Not oh, right. Is it a. Loot. Medicinal herb. Just good. Let's see. Oh, this is gonna go a bit of a roundabout.
Or is it? No, we're good. Sometimes these maps in this guide are a little bit hard to read. Some, um, I actually did quite a bit of test recording for the Game Boy Color version, uh, to the point where I realized that one map further, further, further on in actually has a little bit of incorrect uh, placement of stuff, so you can get misdirected. Uh, we're going to experience that further into this Let's Play, I assure you. 40 hairs! God. Eliza is still equipped with a club, and she's still bashing for 23 damage. It's disgusting, and I love it. Oh, wait, is this another? <gasps> no, it's not. This led to the Pomatory Castle, or the Tower. Pomatory Tower? No. We wanted to go up here. Have you two attack those two? Feeling like I've been lied to. I haven't. I'm just reading things wrong. Because the way that this thing was supposed to read confused me. Because what I'm supposed to do is hit every single random encounter that exists. I love how those two couldn't take out a goddamn bunny on their own. It's a little funny. Sad, but funny. I was tempted to grab a dagger for Zita, but the thing is is that the dagger is not going to be all that helpful for her because she's going to be casting spells. Alright. So... This was both the correct way and the incorrect way. What we wanted to do... Because this is part of the tower, the Nijimi Najima Najimi Tower. I can work. Um, if we go to the right more, we will actually hit Aliahan Castle. You know that shortcut I was talking about? That. This is Najimi Cow Tower. Uh, take a quick pop over here. Blades. There we go. Doing good for ourselves, you know? Hello. Right. Been forever since I've had a customer. Welcome to the end. Sure, we'll take a quick rest. Because Najimi Tower is actually a little bit of a maze. Have a good trip! So now we want to go directly across. This will take us up the stairs. Um, up. Babbles. First new ass enemy. These guys can cause uh, poison, which is not something you want. So kill them. Kill them fast. This has tree short. 40 gold. Nice. Ah. Ice bolts. I won't lie, I do kind of dig the sound effects more on this version versus the Game Boy Color version. I'm not saying the Game Boy Color version's sound effects are bad. It does lend to a little bit more oomph behind all your attacks. Small metal. We want all of those. Or at least as many as we can grab. So now that we grab those, we want to go all the way south. 
Watch your step while around the edges, much like in the second game. You can fall off the sides of the towers and essentially need to restart the level all over again. Don't want to do that. You might want to do that. I don't want to do that. Ugh. Go up here. This leads to staircase D. Now, do I want to take staircase F? Yes, but only after I've collected the treasure. Where is the treasure? The treasure is in this direction. Magician! First new enemy. <laughs> Second new enemy, brother. Uh, there's going to be a lot of first, second, third, fourth, fifth new enemies. Yes, thank you. Wing of the River, Wyvern. Now, unlike in the... Yes, this is the Warp Wing, but unlike the Warp Wing from the previous games, the Wing of the Wyvern will actually... Great. Uh, it will take us to one of... One of many. Like, we can select what town we want to go to. I'm rather glad that I picked up some defense-based stuff instead of attack st stuff at this point. Now I go back up, back around, down. And this should lead us inside. If we had taken the other stairs, which were further south, it would have led us to the staircase outside the door right there. Finally, Darius, you've come. My dreams have told me that I should hand this key over to you. Will you please accept it? Yes. If key. By the way, Darius, there exists books that are capable of changing your personality. If you find one, I would recommend reading it. Continue on your way, Darius. I'm going back to sleep. And the Tomboy book. The, ugh. I swear this half tile thing is gonna be the part that drives me off. Drives me nuts the most. Now, we can open any red door. Uh, what do we do with this knowledge? Well, we jump off the side. And we realize, hey, we're on that island. <laughs> we're gonna go back inside, take these stairs down, and head back up because there was that large red door that we uh, passed over here that has some loot in it as well. Now we're going to want to go back to Aliahan Castle as well so that we can pick up some more more loot. That'll be lovely. Look at him wiggle. Damn. I'm suddenly rather glad that I raised their agility as much as I did. I know it's not going to stick because things will get stronger and faster and all that fun stuff, but still. Hey, level 7 for Eliza. Ooh, that plus 3 strength. Mwah. Fantastic. Wooden helmet. Okay. Agility seed. Yes, we will be handing that over to Varai, I think. Because again, we want him to have the higher amount of uh, speed so that he can continue to make the healing faster. Alright, who do we give this wooden helmet to? Can't give it to Zitta for whatever reason. Uh, let's actually give it to Darius. Can I just equip it? Yeah, I can. Well, let us leave this place. This is a silly place, and you'll know we cannot open this one because we do not have the right key. Thief key only opens the red doors. Uh, we will use the Wing of the Wyvern. Go back to Aliahan. There, we shall loot 
everything. <laughs> well, not everything, but most everything. Uh, we'll start at the inn, I think. No, the inn didn't have any red doors. Uh, actually, I will return to this guy, just so as I can give him the metal, so I don't have to be carrying them around all the time. I can put them in the bag. Actually, it might be a good idea to put them in the bag from now on. Good to see you. Collect the metals. Blah, blah, blah. Hang on to them. Now have four. Once we get to five, we can get the whip. I forget who I should equip the whip on. I don't think Eliza's able to wear wield it, strangely enough. You would think being a warrior she'd be able to wield every weapon, but not the whip for whatever reason. Boom. Alright. Where, oh where, are there some doors to open? Nothing? Nothing. I served in Castle Alihan for over ten years now. I always dreamed of becoming a scholar, but failed my entrance exam. You have done better if I could have read the smart book. Maybe you should have. You thought of that? I guess he did just point out that he did think of that. Whatever. Ah, the fifth small metal. That is a pillar. Always gotta be careful where you look. You can break the seal in the travel door with the magic bomb. Supposedly, the old man who created the magic bomb lives in Reef. Ah, yes, because now we have the key, we can actually visit the dude in Reef. Because there were a couple of places that were locked, so. If we really quickly wanted to reach really Reeve, we could take the uh, shortcut over yonder. Magic bomb is capable of breaking down walls, they say. Hello. Are you here to see me? Sure. Well, I have something to tell you anyways. There once was a traveler's door in the far eastern regions of Aliahan, but here it's been sealed off ever since the war. Probably because there was a war. Just saying. Um, I should probably just... Do I have any more warp wings? Wings of the wyvern. Old habits die hard. Let's... Give that to the bag. Anything that is not something that we should can use, I'll just put in the bag for now. Because it is just taking up valuable space. You can use stuff from your inventory. I do not believe you can use stuff from the bag. While in battle, I mean. Let's go ahead and get our whip. Good to see you. Small medals. Found more medals. Hold on. You found five medals. Please ex accept this spiny whip. Ten medals, and we'll get a garter belt. So, some equipment can affect your personality as well. Uh, the garter belt, I think, increases your defense by ten, but changes your personality to sexy. Go figure, huh? Alright, spiny whip. Who can use it? I can. <laughs> uh, Zid can. I would get the better use out of it, though. A little bit sad, but okay. Again, Zid is fine, just casting spells. Let her cast the spells. Um, let's go purchase some wings and head back to Reeve. Wings of the Wyvern. We'll get. Yeah, we'll get four. We'll put them all in the bag. The girl. 
Alright, now that we have them, let's use them. God, the convenience of being able to warp to any town is grand. We had only one door that was locked in this place. Just feel the need to check everything in particular. Wisdom Seed. We'll give that one to Varai as well. Yes? Wait, who are you? I'm positive locked the door, so how'd you get in here? <laughs> I think he's supposed to be asking how did I get in here with the did I get in here with the thief's key? Oh, my, that's the thief's key. Ortega's title. I see. So the legend continues. If that's the case, then I have something for you. The magic balm. Take the ball to the cave, which is east of here. The ball will break the seal, blocking the portal. By how would it do that, sir? Oh, by exploding brilliantly. That's out of interest. That's out of interest. Sir, you need better reading material. I'm honestly half expected that, uh, half expected them to point out, hey, there was a naughty magazine on this rack. Alright. I'm a little bit saddened. Oh no, I can just give the copper shield over to Eliza. Never mind. I gave everyone as good of armor as I can get. Save for one. It's a little f silly thinking of my d, &D character Zitta with the goddamn turtle shell on the back, but I mean, it works, so yeah. Alright, we'll give this over to Eliza. That gives her five more attack power. Um, quickly use the in. And then we'll head, I think it was east that they were saying. Uh, yep. Have a safe trip. See you next fall. Things are going to start hurting more now. I love the animation. Huzzah! I think we're just gonna give Doom to here. Oh boy, Frogor's Instinct Wasps. So, brilliant thing about the... that. Brilliant thing about the whip. It doesn't attack just one character, or one monster. It will attack... The entire group. The less damage than an actual the actual weapon would do, like a single target weapon does, but sometimes you can't beat just actually walloping on everything in the group. It's pretty damn good. Uh, before we visit that obvious little lake side there. Mm -hmm. I love that sound so. Part of me kind of wishes that I could remove the text boxes. And eh, we'll just use a blaze. Good. Awesome. Grand. Cool. So yeah, uh, I've noticed this when it came to the Game Boy Color version as a kid and I kind of notice it now, is that the damage that you deal slowly goes down as you deal damage to the group. So you, like, 18, 14, 11, 8. You possess the magic ball. Chirp. Take it to the cave in, of enticement. You'll find the cave near the eastern spring. Right after I loot you, sir. That's in particular... Wing of the Wyvern. 
And... Ah, there's a book written about whips and boomerangs. Er, whips and boomerangs can strike multiple enemies at once. Whips will damage one enemy group, while boomerangs will damage all of the enemies. Even if they are weaker than your sword, their multi-strike is really effective. I don't know how much more effective they'll be against things like metal slimes, but we'll get there when we get there. Welcome to the next area. When I say the next area, it's, it's caved. Um, excuse me a second. I poke at things and look at stuff, because that's how I do things. Hello, old man. The stairway is sealed off by a stone wall. The magic ball could just... Nothing was found. But if you were to simply take the magic ball, use it, Cannot tell me that that was not supposed to be a bomb in translation. Something is written on the lid. For whomever finds this, I present this map to you. Press the R button to view the map. Press it again to zoom in. Once you find this, I hope you find this to be helpful. And that's the world map. Once again, anything that is not immediately used in combat, uh, kindly toss into the bag. I love that there is an option, like, it memorizes to stay on the give command. It's fantastic and I love it. Uh, we're gonna give the traveler stuff to the bag too. Alright. This next part can be just a little bit confusing. And it is one of the other reasons why I decided to use the guide a lot. Because... Saria's butts. So we spawn... Basically in the middle of this place. Uh, what we want to do... Is go up... And once we come to... This... Go up here instead. Now, one of the things about this is that all of these crevices that you see will lead us down into another area of the dungeon. Hey, another antidote. Uh, there's a stairway from that dungeon that leads back up. But the dungeon itself doesn't have anything in it. So it is, as I say in the professional business, a useless. Ooh, surround sucks. Surround makes it so as we can miss. Alright. Not that passageway, just down from here. I was... I can't even describe how much I hate younger me getting stuck in this area. Could be impatience. Could be a lot of things. All I know is that I got stuck in this area. I don't even know why. Ooh, that 17 was pretty good. Love their little dance. Oh, I missed the ice bolt because all the enemies were slain. Oh no, uh, heal yourself. Don't kill Roy. Thank you. Whew. I feel like that was a close one. Feel nothing, it was a close one. Um why does it does have some damage to her? I don't think it's that much to worry about. Nor was Darius's, but still. But yeah, I was stuck in this dungeon as a kid because, for some reason, I didn't realize that I could just 
walk below this hole. That's not where I end up getting stuck as a kid. Again, I never beat this game as a kid. But it was humiliating, humiliating to realize that uh, I could have just walked below that. All right, sacred knife. This would be this will be good for Varai. I don't know how much more helpful the sacred knife will be. By the sound of it, it should do more damage against undead creatures. Magicians are surprised. Oh shit, that guy is coming to stab me. Good. Oh. I do love myself this. I don't think the spiky whip was usable by the hero in the Game Boy Color version. Could be wrong. Again, ages. Level 6 at last. Level 7. Uh, speed up and surround. It's spells. Speed up will make it so as your party has a higher agility. Surround makes it so as there's a fog that surrounds the enemy. It makes it so as they hit less often. Alright, this. So from here there are three paths. You want to take the left one. The other ones are dead ends that lead to nothing. And then, uh, a random encounter. There's a caterpillar. A caterpillar caterpillar. Ah, bastard cast and increase. That's, that's pretty much their gimmick. They cast increase and make it so as their defense is higher. Teleport! Ooh. And now we get to leave. And find ourselves in a new land. So, wait. Well, I am going to first hit up the inn. 12 gold per st god damn. Again, the prices go up with the amount of characters and the distance you are from the first village. Is it true that the Archbeam Baramos is planning on conquering the world? Oh, so much for keeping that secret. Old Moon Herb. I believe that makes it so as we do not get paralyzed or we get rid of paralysis. Noink. Uh, which means, yeah, that's right, the stink wasps. They cause paralysis. Grand. That they existed. But I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, we are now in a new place. Where are we, sir? In our ma'am? This is just rumor, but some brave heroes from Aliahan are coming to kill Baramos. Castle Romoli. That's where we are. Castle Romoli. None of this, you know, secret, secret stuff. But thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.